Welcome to the second tutorial on how to use proper. Um, in this tutorial we're going to cover optimizing your props um, by reducing vertexes and um, simplifying your collision meshes to ease up physics calculations on the source engine. Um, we just want to, well if you haven't seen the first video yet I'd recommend you watch that first. Um, and we're going to create quite a complex model. Um, you want a no draw texture first so that any um, faces that you forget to texture won't be um, compiled in the model. This um, will make the model run faster in the game and it just makes things a bit easier. So I'm going to make a simple train track um, and I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch it all uh, and then we're going to simplify the actual model itself and then simplify the collisions okay now we've got a model um, just a few things I want to point out no draw when it compiles the model will um, it won't compile any vertexes there so it's just like invisible like that um, this saves resources on the source engine and it's a good idea um, um, okay so now we've got the model we could compile it just like this and I will I'll just compile it with um, okay so uh, default settings these are all explained in the first video if you haven't a clue what I'm doing. Um, now we compile it. Okay. And we can close that. Restart hammer. Um, oh. Once hammer's restarted, you open up a new map. Uh, insert a prop static to open up your model browser um, find the track that you just made there and as you can see the underside where the no draw was hasn't been compiled um, wireframe that's not looking too bad um, so that's well optimized um, however a collision model is not very well optimized you want um, um, players don't really need to be down inside between these so you could just merge all them together and create one big box and also on the tracks the corners are tapered off you don't really need that either so I'm just going to tell you how to create a simplified collision model so close all that down, open up your track that you're just working on eight hours and you get your clip texture and just go over the model very simply instead of that taper you just create a square uh, okay and for these tracks you can just create a massive rectangle over all of them that's very simplified collision mesh now however we still need to select all of the props underneath deselect the clip brushes and the entity 
and control T and make them a funk detail. This will make it so that they haven't got collisions in the game, but you're doing the collisions through the clip brushes so it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, now we compile this and we can restart hammer again. And when you open up the model and look at the collision mesh, like we did last time, looks exactly the same. However, turn on the collision model, it's much more simplified and easier on the engine. Um, that's how to optimize your models using proper. Um, next tutorial might be on physics props, I don't know yet because I haven't got around to learning how to do that. Um, that's all though.